Good day. How to run a card that is classification and regression tree with frontline solver data mining. I am Dr. Daniel Morin from Concordia University in Montreal, Canada. To illustrate the card, we will take a set of 1,000 observations, 1,000 customers, and we will try to predict or classify them according to the purchase of a cruise or not a cruise vacation. If the customer buys a cruise, we recognize it with a one. If it doesn't, the customer does not buy the cruise, it is zero. We will try to classify the customers using their spending for hobbies during the year and the gender, where one correspond to a woman and zero correspond to a man. And later, we will attempt to classify the following customers customers 1001, 1002, and 1003 with the information that we have and we will try to know if they will or not buy a cruise vacation. We will use a 60%, 30%, 10% partition. So let us go to Excel and start the analysis. Here is our data set of 1000 observation. So I will bring this, my data set, and I will use data mining, classify, classification tree. Of course, purchase of the cruise vacation is my output variable. Spending and gender will be utilized to try to identify those customers who will buy the cruise. There are only two options, whether the customer buys the cruise vacation or does not buy. We will have to partition the data as was requested at the beginning. And I will use user define to enter here 60, 30, and 10. Done. I will have to decide whether I want to prune the tree or not. Yes, we do want to prune the tree using the validation set because if we don't do that, the tree that is built only by the training data is all too close to the original data and cannot be used for further classification. I will use the best prune tree to score any other observations. I would like to have the fully grown tree, the best prune tree, this is the one that we will use for classification, and the minimum error tree. Next, I will ask a detailed report uh, for each of the data set, my training, my validation, and my test set. I will also score new observations that I have on my spreadsheet. I go get my observation 1001, 1002, and 1003. And I will match them by name because the titles of the column are identical to the titles of the column we had with the original data set. And we have everything. As usual, the first is the input and it tells us what we have just done. We wanted a random partition. We use the seed value, one, two, three, four, five, 600 observation in the training, 300 in validation, and 100 in the test set. I did not rescale the data. That means I did not normalize. I did not standardize my data. Do I want to prune the tree? I want to prune the tree? Yes, and yes is indicated with true. And I will use the best prune tree to score all the other observations. I would like to have three types, the fully grown, the best prune tree, and the minimum error tree. I can see the training log. This is using the training observation. This log will decrease and decrease because we build the tree until it has a minimum. Everything has been classified, minimum error. But then when we use the validation tree, 
Yes, the error will decrease, but eventually it will stop decreasing, as we can see here, and would start increasing. So the lowest that we can go without it starting increasing again is at observation 11 at 0.1. Let us see the full tree for this data set. This is the full tree with many, many nodes and it will classify observation as 1 or 0, as 0 or 1. And when you click on the nodes, at the top you will be given what is the decision node. That's easy to understand. The best prune tree is much simpler. It depends on two decisions. The spending money, is it more or less, and the gender again. So it has classified everybody using the best prune tree. Now the other tree that we can get is the minimum error tree. Minimum error is the number of known is obtained when the number or is when my classification reach the misclassification meets the lowest value before it start to increase. So let us use our best prune tree and use the training data and we find a 7.67% misclassification rate which is very small. It gives me an accuracy of 92.33%. It's very good. However, in terms of a specificity, it is at 99.6, very good, but my sensitivity is at 0 0.56, so 56%, and I see that from my error report, class 1 error rate at 44%, where class 0 error rate is only at 0.4%. This is an ind indication that this tree can classify observation 0 more easily than observation 1. And here we have the detailed classifications. Again, on the training data, those observations that were randomly selected to belong to the training. And we have here, for example, observation 12 as a customer who bought this cruise. But however, the tree indicates that the person is not buying the cruise according to the variables that we have. Why is that? The probability that this observation belongs to class 0 is 0.9285 and that it belongs to class 1 is 0 0.07. So it's higher for class 0 and that's why it is wrongly classified as not a purchase. When we use the validation data, now we expect to have an increase in the error because the validation data was not used to to start the model, to define the model, but it was used to decide which one to keep. And here we have the class 0 error rate is 0 0.415 maybe, and the class 1 error rate is at 54.24. So we see that our ability at uh, classifying class 1 observation is more difficult. And we have again here the complete classification of the validation data. When we run the classification now for the test set, it gives me a much better picture of the ability of classification of this model. The class 0 error rate is now as 1.23. It is still very low. The class 1 error rate is now at 47.37%. We have an overall error rate of 10% which is very good. But we know that we are more interested in identifying those customers who are likely to buy the cruise vacation. It's more important to find out about those than it is to find out those who will not buy. If I classify my data, and we saw the errors here, so again, the classification of this observation, this person had pur purchased the cruise vacation, but it is coming out as not having purchased. And the same thing for these two observations here. Therefore, my class 1 error rate is should be smaller. It's not as good as it should be. Let us classify the new observation. My observation 1001, 1002, and 1003. And the first one was classified as not buying the cruise. 
second observation second customer as buying the cruise as we can see the probability of buying the cruise so how did we do that so we go down the tree the best prune tree and see uh, where is this probability so for the owner for the one who does the analysis it's important to identify that record to that customer 1002 is a potential buyer of a cruise so different advertisement and encouragement will be used there are many other information we could have received from this tree. Uh, we could have also asked the decile wise lift or this curve or the area under the curve to have a more complete picture of our classification. This is the minimum that we need to know. This is the basics. If we want to use the card, the classification and regression tree using frontline solver. Have a good day.